the Western Cape. Drive time on 91.3. Always on the cutting edge. Always on the cutting edge indeed. Voice of the Cape Drive Time, welcome back to it. Heading into our next feature, the World Play Day is an international celebration which takes place on the 28th of May annually where children and adults come together and play. Play focused organizations and individuals host specific events where people of a community would be encouraged to come together and do that play. Uh, we are joined online for comment uh, Miss by Miss Vanessa T. Hart, who is the Vice Chairperson of Toy Library Association South Africa, or TLASA, to speak to us more about this. Uh, good afternoon, ma'am. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, good afternoon. Thank you for having me. It's absolutely our pleasure. Firstly, uh, this year's theme is Rediscover Play, Recover Through Play. Tell us more about World Play Day and what it is seeking to achieve. So, so World Play Day is just a wonderful time where internationally um, everybody comes together to celebrate play, to acknowledge play, um, the right of children to play. And um, we have a theme every year. And this year, as you said, is Rediscover Play, Recover Through Play. And I think it's just so such a wonderful theme, particularly on what we've as a you know, internationally have experienced over the last two years. So for the theme this year is we just want to encourage families, communities to get together, rediscover play through traditional cultural play, mm. you know, being active, outdoor play being creative, making connections again, and um, and it's just a wonderful experience for children to grow and thrive. Absolutely. And, ma'am, there is a difference between structured extramural activities and free play. So talk us through this and why the latter is so very, very important. So, so when we talk about structured play, it's obviously with the intention of the adult you know, to teach a child a particular skill that they need to learn as they're growing and developing. And then um, on that, we allow for children to have free play, child-led initiated play, where they take the skills that they learn and they on themselves just explore and discover and be creative. So allowing child-led um, initiators Free play is so important for a child, both indoors and outdoors, and just allowing them to just, you know, be free, have fun, and make sense of the world around them. Mm. And in the South African context, you know, particularly for our Cape Flats children living in gang-infested areas, giving children that free reign to play as they please, it may be a luxury that our paranoia can't necessarily accommodate. So how do we ensure that our children play safely? So, so yes, this is obviously something, you know, that, you know, most communities are experiencing. And, um, yes, you know, communities don't always have the luxury of having a play environment, um, you know, where they can play safely. So um, with the toy libraries, um, we set up within communities so that it is a safe place for children to play. You know, coming indoors, playing in the toy library, um, experiencing a range of toys, whether they're bought or made or found, um, as well as having, you know, a safe place outdoors um, so that they can play and enjoy themselves. So we really are, you know, focusing on, you know, working with, um, with government, with municipalities to to create safe places for children to play. Absolutely. I'm so glad you brought up the toy library, uh, the, this, this initiative. Uh, tell us a little bit more about it. You know, when was it conceptualized and what is the main uh, goal going forward? So, gosh, toy libraries literally was uh, started in 1935 during the Second World War, you know, trying to just bring children to, you know, um, get through the experiences that they, that, you know, they were having, uh, finding a safe place. Um, and 
We, you know, libraries have just grown internationally. Um, the Toy Library South Africa started um, in 1993 um, under another name. It was South African Toy Leisure Libraries, and it has evolved, and now we are you know, the Toy Library Association uh, for South Africa, and uh, we are also um, affiliated with the International Toy Library Association. So um, Toy Libraries literally is a place where, um, you know, we offer um, resources for communities, um, various models of toy libraries to lend, to borrow, to come and play. Mm -hmm. um, in South Africa particularly, we have um, lending, so you could lend toys because children, um, you know, don't always have access to free um to, uh, for play material. Um, mm -hmm. It's also a place where we can um, provide uh, the norms and standards for libraries to operate. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's the best practice. And um, so, yes, so the Toy Library essentially is a community hub where we serve the community, bringing families together, children together, uh, ECD centres where they can have access to play material, um, mm -hmm. information centre, um, you know, just building capacity and parents on how to develop the importance of play, um, and yeah, just, you know, bringing the community and providing um, resources, information, and that children have access to play. Hmm. And then also we know that uh, in a scenario where the price of toys are quite uh, quite expensive, how uh, how can our caregivers adapt if they cannot afford to buy a toy or buy toys? So, so yes, this is a challenge for everybody, and you know um, you, you don't necessarily always have to buy toys. So if you think about uh, you know children, um, you know the best place they play, fun to play is probably your Tupperware cupboard or your pots and pans, <laughs> give them a box. So, so we really encourage um, parents um, to, to just give let children have access to any item because they will find the, you know, discover, play and explore that. And in the toy libraries, we do focus a lot on making toys from waste, so repurposing waste materials, your egg cartons, toilet rolls, to make a, a toy for a child. So uh, we do encourage, um, you know, making toys. We encourage parents to, you know, allow or in communities just to find, you know, boxes, six stones, whatever, because a child will be fascinated, they are curious, and to play with, uh, with those items. Absolutely. So if anybody perhaps uh, joined the conversation late and they are intrigued, where can they find more information about uh, play-focused fo organizations and these toy libraries? So we have a lot, uh, a number of members, uh, um, uh, toy libraries um, throughout the country. And um, if they're wanting to find more information, they can log on to our website, which is plaster, dot -E org. Um, we also have a, a official Facebook page, also Classa Facebook page. Um, and then, you know, if they're wanting to connect with us, they can contact us on marketing at classa.org or info at classa.org. And, you know, we could put them into contact with uh, a toy library within their community or maybe even encourage them to set up their own toy library. Absolutely. And then finally, ma'am, what on this World Play Day is your final plea to all the citizens of South Africa? So our plea is to just get together, connect with your children, connect with your family members, and to play. We all need to rediscover play, to have fun, um, and to just to recover from everything we've gone through. So the plea is to, to connect, have fun, play, do anything silly. We do have a activity booklet. Um, you'll find it on the class website for ideas on how to connect and play and discover cultural games, a variety of games. So it's just, you know, we want to parents, in the words of Frida Kim, who is the founder of World Play Day, you know, she said if only adults would just release the play in them. Um, we would recover and overcome a lot of challenges. So, 
my plea to everybody is to play, 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 <laughs> have fun, and um, and just take this beautiful theme throughout the year as well and share what you do um, with us. Hmm. Vice Chairperson of Toy Library Association of South Africa, Ms. Vanessa Tihard, thank you so much for joining us and for a lovely conversation. Have a great weekend and a lovely World Play Day. Yes, absolutely, and I hope you're playing tomorrow as well, or join a community <laughs> or just find out where an event has been hosted in Cape Town. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks so much. Have a good one. And you too. Thank you. Bye-bye.